Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I want it to be just a simple one. I want to let the paint speak, but we are going to do a transfer bloom, so let's go get started having some fun. All right, let's go over the colors for today, the cell activator, the pillow, and then we will get started painting. So the first color I have, and no, this is not my favorite color palette. <laughs> I've got PBO Studio Acrylics, the iridescent blue green. And I use this a lot. Actually, I use my favorite color palette a lot. So I just mix up more, which these are four ounce containers with uh, lids that screw on. They're, they're food storage. So if anybody's looking for them, Target, Walmart, any place that has them, but this is the consistency. It's still super hot here. And uh, so my paints are on the thinner side, but this is Valspar Varathane Pouring Medium. Actually, they're all Valspar Varathane Pouring Medium Mix today i have got whoops let me show you i've got my uh quinacridone nickel azo gold and this has stayed pretty actually got a little bit thicker on me there's that one and then i have uh southern ocean blue matisse this one it's a little bit thicker that one and then I've got two cell activators I've got my usual sus suspect of gold which is uh, they're both four parts uh, Australian Floetrol one part paint but the one part paint for this uh, as you know I like to use two different golds I use the Tilia interactive pale gold and then the PBO studio acrylics precious gold you don't have to do that you can use whatever gold works for you I like to mix the two together to get this really pretty gold but and then the second one is the ultramarine violet that uh, I used in my collab piece I thought well I might as well use it I've got <laughs> cell activator mixed up and I love purple so we're going to use these two plus those colors and then the pillow I have is the PPG multi pro it's just gotten a little bit thinner on me because it is like I said it's warmer in here it's close to 80 in this studio I almost wish I almost miss my basement studio at the at the present moment. <laughs> I don't have and uh, I don't have central AC. I have window units, so when the door is closed, it gets rather hot in here, and I have to close my door uh, to film my videos. But at any rate, that's what we're going to be using today. So now I'm going to bring you over to the canvas and kind of show you what we're going to be doing, and then we're going to get started painting. All right, for this piece, we've got a 14 inch by 14 inch standard canvas. I've got it taped up on the back and I wanna do just like a fun transfer bloom. We're gonna, we're gonna bloom on the uh, board I have with those colors and the cell activator and I just kinda wanna do some fun, maybe a palette knife swipe, maybe not, but we'll see what the paint has to, has to say. I want the, the paint to speak today. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go back over to the bench now and we're gonna blow out our bloom for the transfer. All right, let's put some pillow on here. That should do it. And I wanna put the iridescent blue-green down first. And then I'm going to put the nickel easel gold. And then the southern ocean blue. I was just feeling these colors, so we're gonna go with it, see what happens. I am gonna put the gold cell activator on first, and then I'll put the purple, and this purple here. All right, let's blow this out. Let that 
fill in. We're gonna play just a little. All right, there's what that's kind of looking like. I'm gonna make just a few modifications because they do transfer over into the transfer bloom kind of nicely. Let's see here. I'm digging that. I'm gonna let that fill in a little bit more and I'm gonna meet you over at the spinner box and we are gonna get this transferred. All right, this is gorgeous. I might have to do a floating bloom with these colors now. <laughs> I'm just gonna take and start going. I'm gonna take right here first. I am digging that exactly how it is. I just wanted to move it around just a little. I'm going to spin slowly and I may work it a little bit more. We'll see. How it's kind of panning it out. Let's kind of go this way just a little. how this is coming together. I need to get a little bit more paint off. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. It almost looks like a, I don't know. I see a bird or something in here. Just gorgeous. just down this way a little and then I'm gonna bring it back because I want to get this corner off okay there we go now I want to bring it back and I want to bring it down over in this corner here and then we're gonna bring it back I've got just a little bit more paint to get off I want it in the middle. And I'm going to spin it just a little bit more just to get the rest of the paint off. Okay. Oh, I like it that way.
yeah just like that I'm not gonna point but I see a Phoenix in there I see his beak and everything this is kind of more of a blue Phoenix than a red Phoenix but yeah got enough paint off and I see just a touch of flocculation over here so that means my paint is getting stretched a bit thin and I really like this yellow band right here all right this is a winter winter chicken dinner I'm gonna get cleaned up and I will bring you over for the flyover of this guy all right here it is as a whole before I bring you in there are some subtle shimmers from that uh, gold cell activator and then the iridescent blue green but I don't know if you can see the bird in there. Let me know if you can. I'm, I'll point it out when it's dry. I don't want to even remotely put my finger anywhere near it. <laughs> but let me kind of bring you down and just show you the subtle shimmers. I just absolutely love the movement of this. It's it's the paint has spoken and it. I love the purple cell activator, how it kind of sunk down. It was really thin, so we're getting a lot more webbing than we would if uh, if it was thicker. It's just so hot in here. Uh, I, but it took the gold with it. So we've got like these purple and gold kind of veins in there. Just looks so super cool. And this right here, there's the head. Here's his beak right here where the flash is. If you can kind of envision that, but just I love how the, the colors blended together. I was hoping for like a blue green kind of with the with the gold in there and I got it. And then that also the nickel easel gold as well. I mean, it just, it gave me the colors I wanted and that purple just kind of added a little bit extra to it. So I am so excited to see how this dries. I'll be back once it's dried to show you the dried results. The paint spoke and I loved what it had to say, but uh, coming across on my viewer here, it's looking a bit darker than it was, but uh, I'll bring it over to under the light and we'll sh we'll see all the sparkles in here and check out the different orientations but I don't know if you can see I can see the phoenix in here and I will point out exactly where he is for anybody who uh, can't see it but this just dried like a dream and I couldn't have asked for anything better it is just so beautiful I'm gonna kind of come in on the side and just I love the color blend it's just gorgeous uh, and this this violet with the gold is just beautiful but these are kind of like his wings kind of going but here's here's his beak and kind of his head and then you can kind of imagine the rest and then down kind of over here is his uh, talons his feet but I just love all the movement here and all these cells in here too we did get a few bubblicious cells but mostly because my cell activators were on the thinner side we got a lot more webbing which will happen so let's go over and see the shimmers under a different light and then we'll check out a few different orientations yeah but see the color has changed a little bit now that we're under the light but oh it's just gorgeous this color blend and the subtle shimmers in here he is just magnificent absolutely love him Oof! look at that right there with the the blues and the kind of greens all right let's go check out some other orientation that's a really pretty uh orientation as well and there he is upside down <laughs> but i'm i'm just looking at the color flow and the movement and not strictly uh <laughs> the bird i really like this orientation too my favorite is the first one but i'd love to hear uh, your favorite orientation so put it in the comments below i'm gonna flip you around and give you my final thoughts yep this is my favorite orientation the first way it does look a little dark here it's it's kind of dark in this corner uh, just the way the light is coming in through the windows but that's you know you got a better glimpse of it when we were checking out all the shimmers and stuff but this probably one of my top five favorite pieces I've ever done I know <laughs> I was just planning to do something simple and then this this guy came out I love it so much I would love to hear your thoughts on this piece what did you think of it uh, let me know in the comments below so with that thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time